Dobry dan. And I invite you all to put your speakers on. Unfortunately, my Serbian after three years was not much improved, but I am language challenged. Anyway, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today, not only because I believe that this workshop is important, the topic of rural development in Serbia is critically important for the future, for the present and for the future, but also because it's an opportunity for me to reconnect um, with this beautiful region of Stara Padina. My wife and I had the opportunity to visit several times and um, not only did we benefit from the great hospitality of our host, whom I see here in the, in the audience, uh, Sergei and his, and his team, uh, but it was also a great opportunity for us to uh, see how beautiful Panina and the region of uh, Pirot is. So I'm not going to bore you too much with a, with a longish uh, speech. Um, first, I am not an expert in uh, rural development. Um, you are the experts, those of you that work on a daily basis in the region, um, making your livelihood out of, of uh, agriculture and tourism and, and other activities. You also will have the opportunity during the coming two to three days to hear from a lot of real experts that will share with you their research, their ideas. So um, I just want to share a few um, ideas or, or, or key points. The first one is a, bro a very broad picture. Um, but I think it is important when we think about the future of places um, like Stara Planina. Um, and this is the fact that last year, or maybe the year before that, for the first time in humankind, more than half of the population on this planet has become urbanized. More than 50% of total world population now lives in city. And this trend will continue. And this is a major change happening on our planet. Why is it important? Because with this urbanization, and as I said, the trend will continue. People will continue flocking to the cities because life in the, in the rural areas is hard. And cities, it's true, offer opportunities. But this trend will continue, but because we are human, the link and the longing for nature will only increase as people become more urbanized. This need to reconnect with nature through natural product, through landscape. And this is a trend that we are seeing happening in more developed countries where indeed people have every opportunity try to reconnect with what they consider the human root, which is the land, which is the nature. And I think that areas that have preserved biodiversity, landscape, and rural livelihoods, rural activities, will benefit from this trend. It might not be immediate, but this is something that it is very important to preserve. Looking at the short term, we need to make sure that activities are being created and developed so that enough people stay on the land in places like Saratlanina or other beautiful regions so that they can be preserved for future generations because there will be an increasing need for people that unfortunately will be born in cities to uh, reconnect. So that's, that's the first big picture idea and that's why rural development is uh, taking such an important, is becoming such an important agenda. We don't want countries to be only cities. We just, it's critically important for us and for our kids and grandkids to make sure that we preserve um, this, this um, traditional, uh, not only the, 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 uh, the, the nature that we have, but also uh, a, a form of, of livelihood 
that has existed for, for uh, decades and, and centuries and, and millennia, because that's what people are going to, to demand. Uh, 